two things I want to talk about. Feature creep and a little tip. Somebody just wrote to me, a guy named Fatima, I believe, if I say his name properly, and he uh, wanted to tell me about how impactful it was to actually write out code, handwritten, on paper in terms of uh, remembering things, because he said, which is an interesting point, he said that when you type, if you're a good typist, writing out the code becomes almost mindless in a sense for some people because they're so fast at typing, but it doesn't help as much with remembering the code. So when you are forced to actually write out the code by hand, at first, it's gonna help you to remember, yes, handwritten notes, and handwriting a little bit of code really speeds up the learning process. I'm not saying you're going to do this all the time, but just in the, in the initial stages of learning, you'll see that it has a big impact. So let's talk about feature creep. Now, feature creep is when features in your app, in your software, creeps in. And basically, you have people who, whether it be clients or even yourself, your development team, start thinking up all kinds of cool new features that you can add to your project. And most of the time, uh, these features, to be honest with you, a lot of times are not really needed. In fact, you find a lot of times they're useless. And it's called feature creep because it's very common that new features tend to creep in as you get involved with the development of a project. A lot of the times you see it with clients because clients are kind of uh, seeing the work that you put out and then they'll be going, you know, it'd be kind of cool if the button did this, or you know, it'd be kind of cool if we pressed on this button, and then a little menu flew out. You think we could add a little animation, and so on, so on, so forth, and et cetera, et cetera. So, so there's feature creep from the client perspective, basically the client asking on the fly for new features. And you have to, as a developer, put a stop to it right away, otherwise it will just creep in and it will take over the project and you're going to end up with a big mess. And one of the ways that you avoid this from happening is that you have uh, a de fairly detailed specification when you go into a project so that if they try to add new features, you can go, ah, 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 it's not in the contract, that will cost extra. But which the more diplomatic way of approaching this when a client looks to want to insert little features that are really not super necessary, not core to the app, is you mentioned that. You mentioned that the more features that you put into an app, the more cluttered the app will become. So you have to be very, very careful in terms of adding features to your app. It's kind of like walking on a lake that is newly frozen over in early winter. You want to walk on that lake on the ice, the frozen ice, very slowly to make sure the ice is solid. And same thing with adding features. If you add features to apps, you want to be very sure that you really need those features. And uh, so feature creep is very common from both the from both the initiation from the client perspective and even from initiation of the uh, of the developer perspective. So I bring this up because we were working on the release of Studio Web 3.1, which adds some new needed features, long planned for features, and so as we're going through it, I was sitting with my lead developer, it was yesterday, the day before, and uh, we were going over these new features that we're implementing. And we're also looking at some old features that we had put in and found there was no use case for them, meaning the teachers didn't really use them. So we took it out. And nobody ever complained because nobody used these features. These are right super detailed data that we're providing in terms of uh, student performance. So I'll spare you the details. So in my discussions with my lead dev, I had forgotten that. I said, I was thinking about putting them back in. And my lead dev reminded me that, you know, while well, nobody was using them in the first place. And, you, and I said, yeah, you've got a good point there. So again, there was, that was an example of with City Web. Uh, We've implemented a feature, we injected some reporting in there to see how people would react to it, and then we decided to pull it out because nobody was using it anyway. But uh, there were some elements to it that were kind of interesting. So it's, it's always a balancing act in terms of features that you want to put in, 
versus not wanting to clutter up your software. I probably spoke about this in another vlog. So keep that in mind. Feature creep, creeps in like a bug creeping in. They can uh, really slow down and complicate the development process. Feature creep could be initiated from the client perspective because they're going, ooh, wow, it'd be kind of cool to do this. So you gotta control that. And if you're developing your own app, as we have with Studio Web here, you want to introduce new features into your app, but they should be really well thought out and you should implement these features very carefully uh, because a lot of times you as a developer may see a use case for a particular feature, but you'll find in the end that your users won't. And the more buttons you put into an app, the more options you put into the, to the app, you're creating more work for yourself and your devs, more potential for bugs, more potential for maintenance, and more clutter in the app's UI that could make your app less usable. So watch out for feature creep. That's it. Bye-bye.